Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We're joined by Linda Pickett from the Heritage Library. And you all have some exciting stuff going on. You have a speaker series coming up on the 27th. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we do. Uh, this fall is going to be very busy for us. But next Tuesday on the 27th, we have Frank Babel, who is uh, with the Bicycle Advisory Council, and Mike Overton, who owns Outside Hilton Head, and Roger Friedman, who built the zip line and aerial adventure. And they're going to talk about the changing face of recreation, um, talking about things other than beach and golf and, and how that has impacted Hilton Head and, and the things that we see coming up. Certainly. So. I mean, there's, I, I know I've seen a tremendous number of bikers on our roads yes, and, you yes. know, the recreation is, is really like kind of goes hand in hand with here in the low country. Right. So. And it's changing the way all of us are doing business, I think. Um, uh, offering different things, so. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Now, um, history and ancestry, you have, uh, you have some programs going on with that. Right, we do, we do a series of both uh, uh, ancestry classes and history programs in the fall and in the winter. And we've already started, so um, our ancestry programs this year are gonna be, we have a couple on DNA, we have one on German research, those kinds of things for people who are interested in doing those things. And the history programs are every Tuesday morning, and uh, uh, there's a, a full slate of programs. We do uh, the role of women in the development of the Low Country. We do a couple of programs on um, one on the history of Santa Elena, which is in uh, on Paris Island, and also one on Pedro Menendez, who was the mayor of Santa Elena, and uh, so a variety of classes. And those have already started, so. Um, everything is online, the schedule's online, so everybody can see what, what's coming up. Now, if it's already started, can you still jump in? Or oh, yeah, 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 it's a different program every week. So oh, fantastic. You, you find the one that you're interested in and, and you can go online to our website and sign up. This is a perfect f solution for those hungry brains out there. I know so many people just love having a little extra something to, to yes. think about and learn about. Yes, yeah. Now, you also have Fort Mitchell tours. Tell us about where one goes and yes. what you do. Yes, those are other regular programs and we actually have four tours going on now. We have our regular Thursday morning Fort Mitchell tour and our regular Friday morning tour of our other property, which is the Zion Chapel of East Cemetery. Yes. And then we started a Thursday afternoon bike tour of the sites up on Squire Pope Road. It's a very, it's a short tour. It's about an hour and a half, but uh, just there's a lot of history that happened right up there on the north end. And the, uh, the latest thing that we're doing, which has been very popular, is a dinner and tour. Uh, General Ormsby McKnight Mitchell in costume, that's our, our uh, board chair, Lou Benfonte, uh, does uh, a dinner at Old Fort Pub. And during dinner and between courses, he tells the story of the Civil War on Hilton Head Island. And then after dinner, they take a tour of Fort Mitchell which is right next door to Old Fort Pup. So that's really been a, a popular program. Um, it's, the dinner's only $40, and there is a set menu, which is on our website, so you can click and see the menu, and uh, uh, that's just been, we've been having a full house every week. That's every Monday night. Well, it's just a fascinating program. Yeah, fascinating. it is, it's just fun. So History Day's coming up October 15th. How's that looking? Yeah, 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 that's going to be <laughs> great this year. It, we have expanded it. We have two different bus tours, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, or trolley tours, and two different bike tours. So we, can, we will have um, approximately 240 slots available for bike tours and about 300, 400 uh, seats on trolleys that we can take people to different places. And we're doing our Civil War tour for both again. Um, that's uh, very Im important on the island, so we, we always want to hit the Civil War sites. But we're also going, uh, taking the bike tour on Squire Pope Road and going, getting into uh, Hilton Head Plantation to Fort Mitchell. And we're also taking a trolley tour to, uh, into Leeming to the, to the Lighthouse and other locations as well. But Wonderful. Places that we haven't been before. Yeah. So that'll be fun. That's well, October 15th. Okay. And registration is all online. 
either through the Heritage Library website or the Coastal Discovery website. Great. Thank you so much for being with us, Linda. Make sure you check out their website. There's a Halloween thing going on, and these folks also need funding and fundraisers, so check out their website. Linda, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much, Carrie.